Hi, Vicky Vidalia here. Okay, this recipe is so easy. And if you're in a hurry or you're having someone come for dinner and you need to make something really spectacular but you don't want to spend a lot of time, this is it. It's called salt and pepper chicken. I found this recipe through my friend Carolyn at her birthday party at the social club in Chicago. And where it was like a, a we all stood around, a big group of us, and we cooked. And it's literally salt, pepper, just a teeny bit of olive oil in the pan. And then once you sear it, you're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes, and that's it. And it's the best tasting chicken. Now, I use chicken thighs, always use chicken thighs, because I think the meat is so much more tender, and I think the flavor is so much better. But you could obviously do this with breast if you want to. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up my pan. I'm gonna turn it to about medium high to high, probably medium high. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And I'm saying just a little bit because the chicken will make a ton of juice. So I know that sounds crazy, but just a little bit of olive oil. So while the pan is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and do salt and pepper on my chicken. Now just so I don't get chicken in the salt, I'm gonna put some on my cutting board. And the one thing about chicken, you can always smell it and you can tell right away if chicken's not good. So now these are on the small side, but they're organic. So they're gonna shrink up a little bit. Um, so just something to keep in mind. If you're doing a dinner party, you probably want something a little bit bigger than this. And I'm gonna press that salt in. This is Celtic salt, it's very salty. Press that in. Now I let my chicken sit at room temperature for about 20 minutes before I uh, put it in the pan. And I know you think chicken, it's dangerous, salmonella, whatever, but 20 minutes is fine. Now I've got my pepper. When that pan's nice and hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some olive oil. This is olive oil, I always talk about this, but I, I like the olive oil from Aldi, the organic. It's really reasonable, it has a nice flavor. So just a little bit, okay, not a lot. And this one's got salt and pepper on it. I'm going to do skin side down. Okay, I'll wash my hands. I'm going to put pepper on the inside. That's it. And we sear it. And the way you know chicken's done is when it's ready, it'll lift really easy off the pan. And then I'm going to flip it. And then I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. And you have your entree. I know. What? It's crazy. It's so easy. Okay, let me wash my hands. Okay, as soon as it's ready, I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about three, four minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check and see if they're ready to put. And then I'm gonna show you just how much juice is in the pan, and this is why you do not need a lot of uh, olive oil. I'm gonna have to flip thing up really easy. So I'm gonna flip it, and look how gorgeous that is. Yeah, they're all ready. Nice. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this maybe about three minutes and then I'm gonna put it in the oven, okay? So exciting. <laughs> okay, see you in three minutes. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Um, so I just wanna show you how much juice. You look at all that juice in the pan. Ah, so yummy. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. 350 if you're baking something else in the oven, you know, like whatever, vegetables, and it's at 400. You can put it in 400, just watch to make sure you don't overcook the chicken. But 350 for about 20 minutes, and then this should be ready to go. Always check your chicken to make sure it's cooked all the way. And um, I'll see you in 20 minutes. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo, that oven was hot. Okay, 20 minutes. Okay, the timer's going off, so the chicken should be ready. salt and pepper chicken. It's that easy and I promise you, I promise you, this is so delicious you're gonna be so surprised. And all it was was chicken thighs, salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. Put it in the oven for 20 minutes after you've seared it. And that's it. One good eat. Um, yeah, so I probably should try it. <laughs> That's delicious. So uh, 
Bon Appetit and thanks for joining my channel and um, you know what would be great is I made some roasted uh, roasted root vegetables the other day so I'm gonna actually there's some leftover I'm gonna pair this with some root vegetables and uh, it's gonna be delicious so uh, thanks and I'll see you later bye